Brand new series, Computer Challenge, the electronic business game, and it's presented by Brian J. Ford. of computer challenge the state of play is shown at the bottom of the screen this is made up of a column showing the monthly profit gained these figures are added to the cash column at the end of each round or month the third column shows the investments that a team has and this is added to the cash column to give the total asset value of the team the red marker identifies the students and the yellow marker the professionals each team starts with fifty thousand pounds cash the students and the professionals each have two basic options one is to invest in shares, or two, to spend on generating monthly profits. The teams can choose their options by moving this cursor as they wish around the screen, and in this case, they've selected shares. <coughs> Having gone for shares, they can choose from three possibilities. A fairly secure choice, but offering only 20% gain on the left, that's banking. Property in the middle with 40% returns and medium risk, or they could choose to invest in oil, where the returns are a staggering 60%, but the risks of a crash are high. If the teams decide to spend on profits, then a column offering seven spending options will appear. Each option offers a specific course of action, ranging from no cost to one which costs £60,000 at the top. Alongside each is a little figure. That's the number of times they can use each option. However, some of these profit options are risky and may incur a penalty. But that's not all. The team with the lower assets is offered a third option, dirty tricks. Stored in the computer's memory in every game, there are eight of them, an unsavory selection of vengeful measures, of which four may be used against the opponent's profits, and four may be used against their assets. But again, remember, an attack on the assets may attract one of the computer penalties later on in the game. One of many risks to be encountered and overcome on Computer Challenge. The details of play will emerge as we proceed, and you'll see that it's much easier to follow than it sounds. I'll also be behind the scenes to explain the moves. The game lasts for 18 rounds, corresponding to 18 months of trading. Anyhow, it's time to get the first game started, so let me introduce our contestants from Coin Kai Comprehensive School, Shanesley, David Gullick and Michelle Hughes. Well, the start of a series. David, you're the first person I've spoken to on the trail for the Concord tickets. How would they suit you? Oh, I like that very much. I uh, haven't been abroad for about ten years. Ten years? Yes. I shall cross my fingers for you. <laughs> Michelle, what are you going to do with yourself when you leave school? I hope to go away for a year. And do what? Maybe working backstage in a theatre company. In London? Yes. Well, go there and bully them into it. Don't just write letters. Oh, I, really? I hope it comes <laughs> off. Right, well, settle in and put on your red headphones. <laughs> And from the business world this week, management consultants Alan Jones and Tony Carter. Nice to see you both. Tony, where did you spend the early years of your career? Well, I've worked in GCHQ in the past, Brian. The Security Communication Centre? Absolutely. Mustn't ask too much about that then. Right. Right, let's hope tonight's communications work all right. And what about you, Alan? Before you became a consultant, what did you do? Well, immediately, previously, I was managing director of an engineering company in Newport. What kind of engineering was that? Heavy engineering. Steel bashing, really. So you really did bridge that gap that people so often talk about? I like to think so, yes. Good. OK, well, settle into your corner then and put on your yellow headphones. <laughs> Each team has just 30 seconds to decide on a move. And if you're ready, teams, the first of the 18 rounds starts now. Come on. I'm waiting for the cursor. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know I can live with that. 
Some shit turns you before you stop. <laughs> Spending on profits is quite a good idea to begin with, as it establishes a monthly income. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that keeps their assets to zero, so they can't be victims of a dirty trade. Wow. <laughs> Confidence, the spice of life. Take the risk, is it? <clears throat> yes. Actually, bread is the spice of life. Yes, when I make it my own. <laughs> we go profits, and we would do the same. Fifty thousand. I think so. That opening move appeals to the consultants too. Each side tries to have low assets to keep the dirty tricks off. Now, what we need to do is take a prudent option here and voluntary redundancy. So, it's option one. They will they will get caught out fairly soon. I think. Yep. So we each team should have zero assets, as far as I can see. Yeah. Oh, we've made a profit within the month, yes. Ah. Right, which one do you want now? Spend $10,000. Yeah. <coughs> now that's the option of calling in consultants. Though you don't have to take their advice if you don't want to. Do you know their advice? Yeah, ignore the advice. I have not much to lose there. 9,000? Oh, yes. <laughs> At least they can't play dirty tricks. Oh, for profits again. Yeah. But we have to go. We haven't got enough money to spend, so we have to go for the no cost option. Yeah. And obviously, I think we take a prudent accounting view again and take the creative but safe option one. Save four thousand a month. Right. Okay. I thought you were going to get the dirty tricks. Then. No, no. Well, even if we don't, it doesn't matter as long as they don't. Tell them, Michelle. Mm. Go for the twenty thousand. Yes. We've got to really, otherwise they they play a dirty trick on us. The twenty thousand pounds option is one which gives the other team a chance to respond. But they're not going to take that chance. They're still opting for the cautious alternatives. Right. Okay, I suggest the profit option, and I think we need consultants urgently. Mm. Price it's Waterhouse paid. consultants, if you ask me. I think so. So it's ten thousand pounds yeah. spend, and we, as always, we accept option their advice one. totally. Yes. Option one. That could leave us with, I wonder. Well, that should leave their, uh, their prices still above ours. Yes. Yeah. So, I think... <coughs> They're bound to get one sooner or later. Don't spend the whole 40,000, mind. Yes, we've got to. No, we haven't. We can just spend the 50,000. What's the point? We've got the money, so you may as well. Go on, then. Go for the safe option, all right? Let's see what it is. Well... What is it? New technology. Uh, 6,000 total. We're that far ahead. No odd risk. That's going to come down on our screen. <laughs> I don't say that. Uh, wait a minute, don't we have the option of a dirty trick? I'd have thought so, but we've got to make up our mind. Right, okay, quickly. because their assets are going there. No, yes. only if your assets are lower than the other side do you get that dirty so trick option. We pull Take the consultants in again. Yes. <laughs> And again, we take their advice to option one. We're, we're, can, we're into much to take our own, own advice. Right. The question is... Consultant is going to take a consultant's advice, isn't he? Uh, profits. Mm -hmm. I know which one do you want. <coughs> a lower one this time, 30,000. 30,000. They're bound to get a dirty trick of us sooner or later. Yeah, no, I wonder if it might be. Yeah. Go for the safe option, all right? Because it's the... Uh, yeah, it's go for the safe. Fund. safe. Their monthly profits are twice as much as the other side, so they can afford to play safe. Right, you know? I suggest at this stage, Tony, we buy, we do, we buy some shares fairly quickly. Right. 
We've got 38,000. Yeah, 20,000 in banking and 17 in property. Right. Or 20, about 20,000 in banking, safe, relatively safe option. That'll do. Yes. And 17 in property. 17 in property. No, well, okay. What did that noise mean? Oh, that's the 10 second countdown for the end of the round. They finished just in time. Well, we must jump ahead to month 11 to find the consultants who keep preferring dirty tricks to profit so far, behind in assets but earning much more per month than the sixth form. Well, they're not. We'll still fair work quick. A dirty trick. Let's have a go at their assets. Yeah. Even if they do crash, they're not going to lose much. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 21,000. Well, I can live with that. Well, you're 25,000. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't put a lot in, are you? Put in banking. Shares. 100, we're behind now, so we've got to take a risk. Buy. Buy. Banking 100. Or near enough. Yes. Uh, right. right. Property? 150. Right. Uh, oil, 180. Quick. That do. Right. Transaction complete. Now, has it worked? That should have action. Ah, it's worked this time, by the look of it. Well, it's worth the risk, I think. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> We're going to sell now. Oh, it's still in the lead. So, uh, sell all the shares, right? Yeah, it's right. And the BMW. Well, I'm on 70. Oh, no, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> I won't no, keep no, that, do you? No, my Porsche, man. My Porsche. The red one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thought we had some in oil. I know. I think we made a bit actually. With yes. the oil. No, we, well, we did lose, but. Uh, yeah, from what we made, it's pretty yes. good. Not too bad. <clears throat> oh, I can sell them anyway. Sell all. Sell, so, yeah. Now, watch how the shares are revalued when the button's pressed. That's the monthly interest going on. Have you completed that? Yes, I should have actually. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Hmm. We need to see that we should... We don't have to go for oil, or We've got everything in oil, yeah. It's all good to go in. So we've got <coughs> 400,000 in banking. Right. No, I'll say three, three, five. No, 400. You only put too much in oil. There. Hold on. Say when. It's about the same, man. Keep going. Yeah. Put the rest in thing. Banking. Oh, whatever it is. <laughs> the oil rig there. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die for crashes. I'll tell you that. I'm going to have a heart attack. Okay, all in shares. Buy, obviously. Buy oil. Five hundred and sixty thousand. If you can get up there in time. Oh, I hope so. Alright, there, leave it there. Make sure we complete it. Should do. This is the big gun. Yeah. The big gun. I don't know if we can still make it. And that's the end of play, but not quite the end of the game. First, as the profits are added at the end of the 18th month, we have to pause to see whose shares are going to crash. Is it, in the red team, likely that the shares from Coid Kai, those sweetness and light specialists, are going to crash? Let's have a look at 
and oil has gone down. Now they will sell their remaining shareholdings and we'll see how much they end up with at the end of this first game. And now the same for the management consultants in the yellow corner. First of all, are any of their shares going to crash? What? <laughs> Heard of a million off oil. Don't we all know the feeling, folks? Yeah. Now they will sell their remaining shareholdings and we will get their final score at the end of this, the first game of Computer Challenge. And in the red corner, it's Koi Kai. So hard luck, I'm afraid, this time to the consultants and congratulations to this week's first winners, Koi Kai Fennett. Well done, David. Well, you can't be a million miles away from the Concorde ticket. Let's see what happens in the rest of the series. Don't forget to join us at the same time next week. Until then, from everybody here, goodbye. The electronic business game was adapted for television by Mike Ellis. A home computer version of the business game is now available for the BBC Model B.